Yo, all right, take three. Take four. This is four. This is four, y'all. Imagine if you had to go to work. Yeah. I think I got it. I think, I think she's good now. I think that was four. I'm not gonna rev it because I wake everybody up on the side of it. Right. It, 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 it took four, four tries today. It's an Adam, so we're good. Okay, see? Yeah. Well, so if, yeah. if you pop the, anything in the engine, it's just right. So yeah. we're leaving Chemical Guys, Escondido. Got the sponsorship. You know, we out here shopping for the Mopars. Got to keep them clean. So now I'm going to bring my car here so we can get a little wash. Cars because, uh, the Christmas spray had everything blocked off, so we couldn't even get to the shop. But, uh, yeah, we almost did. Alright, so I got the car. I want to see how this cop is going to react to my loud-ass car, because I told him I was coming back. And, um... Uh, so, I got the car. Like I said, the road's blocked off. So, I told the cop that I'd be bringing my car past the roadblock for some promotional stuff. I want to see how you're going to react to my car. It's pretty, pretty loud. You know what I'm saying? Pretty loud. Work today. Man, chemical guy's about to get it straight. Look how dirty that thing is, bro. Last time I washed this car, I was at the track, bro. Look at this. Look at that. Right. So, Dude, people, that, bro, bro, the... yo, so, yo, this is like the perfect video because I got rubber from the track, bro. Like, y'all can show how great y'all are because I don't know how to get that off, bro. We got straight it. up, bro. We got it. We got it. Hey, they got it. So, stay tuned. I'm going to go eat. And when I come back, it's going to be super clean, bro. Super clean. I love the it's so sick. sick. My engine bay, I don't think my engine bay is dirty. I don't think so. Are you running an LED strip in the front seat? Yep. I try to keep my engine bay decent. It's nothing special. Once that Vortec go in there for the you get that. That Vortec sound like a jet. <laughs> but uh yeah. That's a nice open space. Mm-hmm. Get this thing. Put that blower right there. Mm. Good day. Straight jet sound. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're about to get it right. right. Mm-hmm. About to get it right. You this. Detailing Superstore. Yeah, we can use, uh, nonsense. Mm -hmm. You guys have the thing where you like rejuvenate the plastic? Is yeah. Like, what is it called? BRP. Okay, yeah. Make it look like super black. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's about to be crazy, so stay tuned. I got an NSR cam. 
It's about to go down, boy, until we get back. Mmm. Escondido. Alright. Look at how awesome and woolly mammoth works. Just gonna layer it on top. Boom! Dry. Shout out to Chemical Guys Escondido. You know what I'm saying? We out here for real. All right, it's my turn, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Get about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mishap with my airlift suspension system but we get it all fixed up as you can see we got it back up Boom. good should be good i just leak tested it i don't see any bubbles forming okay so the leak should be gone but i do want to double check just to make sure how long are you gonna let it sit for Fill up the tank completely, okay. and that way I can test to see if it drops in PSI. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so basically, I wasn't getting any power to my system, right? So this is the second time I had an issue. The first time I changed out the fuse. So my remote was off, like everything was just straight. Proceed to the route. Yo, let me turn this thing off, man. Hold on. Proceed to the route. She needs to shut up. Hold on. So normally you do have to check the uh, fuses that go straight to the positive terminal. Normally when those go out, the manifold can turn off because then there's no link from the power to the manifold. So what we did was we just checked the fuses, opened it up, made sure both of them were good, which they were. And then so we have to kind of go based off of that, try to see what else could be um, broken in between mm -hmm. where it wouldn't supply power. So I followed the uh, ignition source, which is this wire right here that leads to the manifold. Mm -hmm. This wire goes straight to the fuse box. And this is the fuse holder that holds uh, the fuse for the ignition source okay. to mm -hmm. allow power to the manifold. Right. <clears throat> and so after removing it, checking that fuse, I did notice that the fuse link was broken inside. Mm -hmm. So we replaced that fuse and then put it all back together, tested it, made sure it worked and everything was fine after that. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, so that's how, 
That's how we rocking. Everything all gravy now. We going up and down, you know what I'm saying? Round and round. So, boom. Still need to switch out my uh, drag tires. I'm not trying to put miles on those, but uh, yeah. That's that. So, I guess we up. So, we still have to do the check again, right? Yeah. All right. Do this little check. Did you explain why you had to uh, replace the, the check tops? The check? No, that's not the video yet. Okay. We can go ahead and bust that one up. So, oh, is it recording right now? Yeah, still recording. We're so normally, normally the main reason why the uh, 30 amp fuses blow mm -hmm. is usually because the check valve is going bad. This piece right here at mm -hmm. the end of the compressor. So that uh, manages the flow of air going into the tank. And when it starts going bad, air starts coming back through, back to the compressor. Mm -hmm. And that causes a, a voltage spike into the uh, the fuse right and it blows the fuse and so that's one of the main reasons why your manifold might not be turning on uh, okay. it could be the check valve just going bad and constantly blowing fuses yeah because what i did was I, I did a little youtubing and i'm making this video because i couldn't really find much and in one of the videos it was like you want to take this off and then you want to like reconnect it and hope that it works i did that and nothing happened i changed out those fuses like i said nothing happened uh and everything was just dead and I really didn't know. I call airlift and, you know. Oh, so also one of the main issues I found with this car yeah. was that when I was pulling on this ignition wire, mm -hmm. this butt connector actually came completely off. So it wasn't completely crimped together. So that can also cause a, uh, a shortage of power into the manifold. Okay. And so we replaced it with a new butt connector and now everything's good and all right. fully connected. All right, all right. You know, you know, under the uh, the trunk line is not too crispy, but that's how I keep the car crispy. So you gotta excuse that. You know, all the supplies to keep it crispy, a little unorganized, but it gets the job done when I'm in a rush, so I can stay crispy. All right, so just remember that. <laughs> all right, so that's it. So far, no, so no leak. No, I think at 179, so you should be good. So I want to try to lower and then raise it again? Oh yeah. Did you want to air out completely? Or... Mm. What we can do... I have, a, I have a setting for it, right? And I have a setting for the park. It's that one. It's not all the way aired out, but it's pretty, pretty low, right? So hit that one like three times or whatever it takes. Yeah, that's my, uh, that's my flex setting, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I just want to be like, yo, I'm back, I sit right there at a meet or something. Uh, so hit it three times in the middle. All right, so that's my ride height. And that's why I was stuck. That's how I was able to get here. <laughs> All right, so we good. We good, man. 